Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Backrooms level explanation on the channel. I'm your host, Brugly, the Backrooms YouTuber. I love how I say that every video as if someone else is going to be talking. Today, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms level 4000, aka the final frontier. This level's from over on the fandom, and it's pretty scary, especially if you don't like water. So let's dive right into it. Yeah, see what I did there? Level 4000, aka the Final Frontier, is extremely unsecure and unsafe for the most part. Except in one part, which I'll talk about later. And the level is split up into two distinct sections, which I'll be explaining in depth, of course. But the two sections are called Thalassophobia and the Nearshore Area. The Thalassophobia area is unsafe and unsecure and has undocumented entities around as well as a extremely dangerous documented one. But this part of the level induces a deep sense of Thalassophobia to you the second you're in it. Even if you don't have that to begin with, it still gives it to you. Which is just terrifying, man. Also, if you don't know what it is, thalassophobia is the fear of underneath of water, the things underneath of it. This area has another weird effect on you, where it drains your sanity constantly, and you can't even help it. It just happens. This section also has extremely deep, dark water, and the sky is always gray, with no sun, and the water is always rough and choppy. The only confirmed entity here is called the Death Whale which pretty much sounds exactly like the name suggests and is exactly like the name suggests, but I'll explain it in detail in the entity section of the video, so be patient. But yeah, that's it for the thalassophobia section of the level. It's dangerous, it's deep, it's a dark ocean. What else is there to say? The next section is called the Near Shore Area, and this area is actually pretty safe and moderately secure, which is way better than the Death Whale infested water. Since its name is literally Near Shore, I'm sure you can guess that this section is near a shoreline, quote unquote, but don't get your hopes up because there is no actual shoreline. It's just an infinite section of an area that looks like it's gonna be a shoreline, but you can never get close to it. Kinda sucks. Apparently two Meg members traveled 26 miles towards the shore that they thought was a shore, and they didn't get any closer. This area has these black rock island formation things that stick out of the water, and there's lots of other sea life here as well, like birds and lizards and that kind of stuff, as well as seagulls and mackerels and other fish and, you know, just the typical ocean stuff. And a really creepy entity also lives here called La Camiloa which I'm going to talk about in depth in the entity section, so you'll see it there. Every four hours in this area, a random mist will start to roll over the water, and off in the distance you'll see a lighthouse light and the tower very faintly. But it's impossible to get to this lighthouse because it seems to change directions, and after about five hours of this mist in this lighthouse, it'll all disappear and it'll all be gone. And that was the last part of the le- Wait, there's a secret part, what? The secret part of level 4000 is called the Silver Waters and is safe, secure, with no entities. This section of the level has only been seen by two people ever and the entrance to it is unconfirmed and obviously unsafe. The water in this section of the level is kind of metallic, it has this weird thick texture to it, and it's also been tested and is actually made of a very similar compound to liquid silver. So like, melted silver, but an ocean. Interesting, very interesting. So for the long-awaited entity section, there are two main ones that I want to talk about, and those are the Death Whales and then the La Camiloa. We'll get into the Death Whales first. These things look like normal humpback whales, which if you didn't know, are already one of the largest things on planet Earth, so that's terrifying. But instead of the peaceful giants from real life, Death Whales are anything but that. They are dangerous. They can detect you from miles away when you're in the water, and they can swim straight up towards you 
and like a reverse torpedo, they will open their mouth and shoot right up at you and try to swallow you. The only chance of survival you have is to swim away just in time to dodge them. They also sometimes just come out of the water and just sit there with their mouth open for a little bit, almost like they're drinking oxygen, I don't know. It's different from real life whales, because obviously real life whales have air through a blowhole, so maybe these things don't have a blowhole and they just breathe through their mouth. So far, there's been a total of 56 victims of these death whales, and the number will probably keep going up as more and more people go to this level. The next entity is the La Kamiloa entity, which is just terrifying to look at. I mean, just look. This creature is very mysterious and is rarely seen, but it's really unknown how it's supposed to act because sometimes it's aggressive, but most of the time it's not. It looks like a large humanoid that's made out of stone, and it's supposed to be around 100 feet tall, but that's just how tall it is when it stands out of the water. Like, imagine how tall it actually is with its feet touching the bottom of the ocean. It's gotta be like 20 miles tall. The creature has only actually unalived two humans total by accidentally dragging them down underwater, but apparently it's kind of friendly to humans and doesn't actually seek out to attack them like someone else we know. But yeah, a four mile tall stone humanoid creature is still terrifying. There are actually two colonies on this level. Those are the Ocean Explorers and the Noki Noki. The Ocean Explorers, well, they're Ocean Explorers, and they're the only official group stationed here. They live on a huge inflatable raft on the water, and they guide wanderers to the exit of the level. Kinda wholesome, and they also like to swim, which is also wholesome. Now the Noki Noki tribe is a tribe of 50 people who live on one of those rock outcropping island things and they seem to be like a hunter gatherer society that just hunts animals in the near shore area. They're moderately hostile to outsiders but can be bargained with if you don't get really aggressive. To enter this level, the only reliable way is to noclip through a wet spot in the carpet in level 0. The rest of them are unreliable and are kind of finicky. Now to exit this level, you can find a specific circle of rock formations and then just wait on top of them to be teleported to the hub, or in extremely rare occasions, you can see the shore that I was talking about earlier, but the shore has a city on it when you see it, and then you can swim towards it, and then you'll be in level 1976. But that's extremely rare. The other two exits almost never happen or never work, so don't even try. And yeah, that was it for level 4000. An ocean level cut into a couple parts, with death whales and a giant stone humanoid that randomly walks around. Sounds pretty fun to me. Hope y'all enjoyed this level explanation. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I appreciate it a ton. Make sure you check out the description for any links you might want to my socials, my second channel, Toogly, which I've been uploading on recently. I'm uploading a Skinwalker encounter story time that I had today. Go watch it. Certified banger, for real. I think you'll love it. Comment on this video, Death Whales is scary, if you've watched to this point. Because if you comment that, you're just awesome. I mean, what else can I say? Thank you for the support on everything. Y'all are so cool, for real. I love you. Thank you so much for everything. I have so much planned for the summer. I'll be talking a little bit more about it as the videos come out more and more. But the Burgly Summer Spectacular is going to happen. More fan-made levels. More survival guides. It's going to be just awesome. Thank you for watching. Peace out.